Gian Gomeshi tried to revive his uh, career today, and social media would have none of it. One uh, crisis management expert I spoke to says he has never seen anything like the wave of hostility that greeted the disgraced talk show host's new podcast. The memes that followed Gian Gomeshi's podcast came in fast and furious. The overwhelming message on his attempts to revive his career, no. Oh, Joe Cressy, a city councillor, even mm. chiming in saying, not interested until you've owned up and sought forgiveness for abusive actions. Please mm. stay offline. Yeah. I mean, it goes on, sort of, and on and on. It's brutal. Bill Walker is a crisis management expert who says he's never seen anything like this. The comments on social media are more brutal than almost anything I've seen. I haven't seen anything like this on social media as long as I can remember. Just before 8 this morning, Gomeshi's Twitter verified account with an arty black and white photo sent out this tweet. The link leads you here. It's Monday, April 10th, 2017. This is The Ideation Project. A podcast called Exiles. What does it mean to truly feel like you belong somewhere? Or what if you don't belong anywhere? No place to receive a hand. What does it mean to feel like you have no homeland? The rhyming slam poetry style monologue runs about six and a half minutes with music and images relating to the theme of globalization, immigration and belonging. Maybe it is the very lack of belonging that leads to a yearning for destruction. Like, if you don't want me, I don't want you, and I'll try to take you down. Imbued with some good old... So if this was Jean Gomeshi's trial balloon to gauge a possible comeback, it was popped within minutes of being posted to social media. We never, ever wanted to hear from you again. No clicks from me. Go away. You will never be forgiven. My ideation project involves a Canadian justice system that can convict serial rapists and abusers. That's newsworthy. There was the odd welcome back tweet, but the overwhelming message was this. Nope, not a chance. Three years ago, the Gian Gomeshi scandal triggered a continent-wide conversation led by the hashtag Ben Raped Never Reported. And even though the talk show host was acquitted almost exactly one year ago, many in the public are holding on to an entirely different verdict. If you're going to launch a media career, as he's now trying to do, relaunch a media career, the court of public opinion is the only court left. And he was convicted by the court of public opinion. He was guilty. He's guilty today. He was guilty then, and he'll be guilty tomorrow. It's a very consistent sound to this record. Like Gomeshi was fired from CBC back in 2014. He was acquitted on five charges last year, a sixth charge was dropped after he signed a peace bond and delivered an email apology. But this crisis management expert says Gomeshi missed the most important stop on any redemption tour. Selling the Gian Gomeshi brand in the, in the court of public opinion, he's a convicted serial abuser of women. That's the conclusion the public came to. And until he recognizes that, he's not going to get anywhere. You can't skip the step of saying to the public, I know what I did. I understand what I did, and here's my explanation for it. If he's going to skip that whole step, then I don't think he stands a chance. Now, it's unclear who is funding Gian Gomeshi's latest project. Uh, there had been some speculation that a radio agency in the U.S. had registered the domain name last year. When I called them today, though, they said they'd never heard of anyone named Gian Gomeshi.